everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be making this sweet card using a couple new dies from Wobble Flower Crafts. So we're gonna be using the Dotted Hearts die set. This was new in the June release. And there are three hearts with little dots in the middle. And you can see I've cut them from Colors of the Rainbow and I'm going to stitch these hearts. You don't have to stitch them. This is just what I chose to do today. And actually for today's card, we're just gonna be using the pink, green, and yellow hearts. So the hardest part of the entire card is what you see me doing here, and that is threading the needle. Um, I'm using DMC floss, and there are six strands. And I chose to use all six strands, so that's why it was a little challenging to get that through my needle. And of course, I couldn't find my little tool because I'm always losing everything. So what I'm doing is I'm just threading the needle through the bottom hole of each heart. And I'm going to secure that loose piece with, a, with some washi tape at the back. And now I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how quickly this goes. I'm just going to go from the bottom hole up to the next hole. And then once I have that fed through, I'm going to jump up two holes. So you'll see me doing that here. And then I'm going to come down one hole. So what happens is there's a little gap between the stitches. And I like that look. You, you don't have to leave the gap, but that's how I chose to do this today. And it just works out that the number of holes on the hearts um, it works with with leaving a gap in between. Um, as for colors, the pink floss that I used, again, it's DMC. I used number 3805 for pink. For the yellow, it's 725. And for the green, it's 703. And I am almost done with my heart. See, that was really fast. And then because they're just connected in the middle by the floss, um, it, it helps create dimension on these hearts, which I think is really cool. So here I'm gonna just attach that, that other loose piece with some more washi. Um, I could have left both pieces long and just tied them together at the back, but I, I personally use washi. And here you can see the dimension that I was just talking about. Isn't that pretty? So through the magic of video editing, I have very quickly stitched all of my hearts. But like I said, we're only going to use the pink, green, and yellow. So to create my card base, I'm going to use the Tiny Diamonds die. This is a cover plate. And I love this cover plate. This just creates the perfect amount of texture in the background. And I think it's just perfect for any occasion. I'm going with a tone-on-tone -tone look today. So I'm just doing white on white. And again, I, I love having texture in the background, especially when you have a very simple design like, like today's card does. Um, but I think having maybe a colored card base in the back would be really cool looking too. So now my card base is ready and I'm just gonna glue down the bottom heart, the largest heart of each color. And that will leave you know, the other two hearts loose to create that dimension. So once I have my design planned, I'm also gonna attach that white piece to a pink card base. And now we're ready for the sentiments. These come from the Sub Sentiments Hugs die cut set. And I'm gonna attach them with this black foam strip tape. Um, now, Waffle Flowers had these white foam strips, and they've come out with the black foam strips this year, which I think is great. Um, it works perfectly with these little die cut sentiments. And they're also, the foam strips are really perfect for um, shaker cards as well. So I'm using my T square ruler to make sure these sentiments are lined up perfectly. And 
That was a really quick card to make, wasn't it? So there is the card and you'll see in a minute that that really cool dimension from the sides. So there we are, here's the final card. And that was the fastest video I've ever done. I kind of like it. I'm sure a lot of you do too. Um, I think I usually try to shove too many cards in my videos, but let's enjoy this one while we can. Um, I'm really glad you joined me today and I will see you next time. Bye.